I can't make this shit up. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to your channel. It's your boy Rob here, YouTube with a budget, back with another video. So, if you see my previous video, I was working on my washing machine. So, I'm still at it. Um, so, let me show y'all. This is why I say I need the actual. Look at this crap. I was supposed to do none of that, right? Also, in these shocks, shocks, that was supposed to do this as well. So, by the time of the end of this video, I'm gonna need four shocks, this for sure, and I think I'm gonna need bearings. Uh, but I'm pretty much done already. Like shocks don't supposed, shocks supposed to be hard, like you're supposed to be pushing them in. So, by the time of the end of the video, man, I'm gonna tell y'all exactly how much I'm probably gonna spend on this if I spend it. So. Still might not, still might go get a new one, bro. I ain't going to cap to y'all. Still might go get a new one because um, it's not looking too good. Shocks are probably like $15 each. $60 right there. The uh, spider uh, bracket, 200, 150 to 250 And I might need the rear thing because of the bearings. And then I need a seal. Then I need screws. So that's going to be like a good... $400 automatically right there, guys. So it's not looking too good on my end. Guys, this is how bad it is. So this is the drain. This drain goes there. Drain that. You drain the water out. Look at this shit. That's metal. Oh, that's metal. Metal fitting. Metal stuff that's coming from there. That's crazy. Jeez. But got it officially out, as you can see. We out of there, but this mug is broke, bro, bro. This mug is broke, scared about if i lift this thing up and the bearings are bad that means i will have to replace this bottom lid and then if that's the case it's really no point in me replacing this down um i mean there's no point in me continuing finishing this repair bro to be honest it's just because i'm gonna spend about the same amount of replacing it. So, moment of truth, guys. Okay, the bearings look good, but this thing is demolished. Jeez. Bearings look good, so I'm happy. The bearings look good in there. Everything looks good. I am so happy, guys. This thing right here is demolished. Golly. Jeez. That's crazy. That is freaking. How does that even happen, bro? Like, it even bent. It even warped it a little bit. So, I'm going to have to try to straighten that back out but golly guys this crap's so messed up look at this crap i'm trying to unloosen it right this, 
That mug is breaking. Straight. That mug breaking straight off. Unless I'm going the wrong way. That mug breaking straight off. Oh no, I might be going the wrong way. This one's stripped. So I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get that one off. Let me try to go the opposite way. Nah, it's tightening right there. It ain't that way. It's this way. That might stick out the. So I gotta find a way to get this mug on. Mug stripping on now. That's crazy. Hmm. Should I get this mug on? Crazy, bro. Crazy as hell. Try to get this mother out now. That's how messed up this shit is, bro. All right, guys, I know I'm trying to get back up in it. Man, I know I'm trying to get back in it. Um, So I know y'all like, man, what the heck video is this? So y'all don't know, I recorded this video a long time ago. If you go back and look, I recorded a video of me fixing my washing machine and all of that. And also, I did tell y'all I had to fix the dryer. So I'm going to run the clip real fast, a little quick edit clip of me fixing my dryer too as well. It's like a little... It's like a coil thing that went out. So the dryer wasn't getting hot when it was uh, spinning. So um, yeah, I'm just basically showing y'all, man. Y'all don't have to go out and go buy a new dryer. These parts don't cost nothing. The dryer parts cost like $20, $25. And I'm, uh, if I can remember right, the whole washing machine install, everything was like about two, two fifty. So y'all don't have to go out and buy a new washing machine. You could honestly just fix it. Just because you have the money don't mean you have to spend the money. But yeah, man, make sure you go watch the rest of the video, guys. That's all two as well. That's all two as well. And then you gotta lift up. So far, it seems like everything is a Phillips screwdriver. So that's something Samsung did good. Guys, I was almost honestly looking at buying another freaking dryer and washing machine too. That's the crazy part. Guess I gotta take these off too. She.
right. Disconnect this. I thought that lint, bro. It's worse than here. Sheesh. Hold on, I take this thing apart. There you go. This is like the fifteenth part I took apart already. All right, guys. It has this band around here. Oh, you could just pull it up. Oh shit. Alright guys, so this is the thing you need to replace right here. It's a heater core thing right here. This is what I'll try to replace. Oh, what can I just take this screw off and slide it? Oh god, that'd be wonderful. But you know, stuff don't work that easy. Well, not with my life anyway. Yep, I want to tell you, knew it wasn't gonna be a damn easy. I gotta figure out this is the blower thing right here. But look how much lint is up in here, bro. Like, this is ridiculous. Shit, crazy. I wanted to try to clean this shit up. Yeah, I want to clean all this out. But this is what caused it to go out, though. All this lint, bro. I want to clean all this stuff out. If I can get this band off. Bands to make you dance. All right, let me figure out how to get the bands off. Stop playing. All right, guys, I didn't have to take the whole thing off. Um, I just unbolted the screw down here and just moved that and it came apart. So I wanna look at this so I can see. Blue is on top, blue is on top, red is at the bottom, black is at the bottom. All right, remember that. Take this out. Bro, this light come off a little bit. Uh, Thanks. So, this is the, the heating. It did break, so it is the heating element. Yes. Yes. $20, nigga. <laughs> Damn, I don't want broke, bro, bro. So, guys, when you see it disconnected, that means it's broke. Oh, my God. Sorry guys, I have automatic cutoff lights in the dry, I mean the laundry room. So that means it's broke. Yes, that's a good thing. Cause that means I can go to Home Depot and get one to replace. So I'm gonna go do that right now. Put it back in and get it going. And hopefully it dries. Hopefully it dries. It came out of there too. 
All right, guys, so I officially got all of it back together, but let me show you what can cause the thing to go out. You see how all that lint is right there? All that stuff could cause it could go out. So I want to clean most of this up. I don't know how the hell I will do it, but I'm going to do it. All right, guys, so you got to get... You gotta get that thing, this thing back into that little groove. It's very easy because it has like a little slot thing that goes into here. So it's kind of easy to do. And then you just put it back in there and make sure you wire it back up the way you did. Remember my blues is at the top, red was at the bottom and blacks was at the bottom. Remember I said that earlier. Um, in reality, you don't have to loosen this up, um, this bottom bracket. You just really have to loosen that one, pull up, and you'll be fine. Other than that, you can take it out. This is honestly, guys, if I could rate this uh, 10 being the most difficult and 1 being the easiest, this is probably a good 3, 2. It ain't difficult at all. Um, it ain't, to me, it's a 1 because I'm like honestly kind of handy. So. So now all I have to do get the other one, the other bolt, the screw. Hopefully, I'm not using one that I don't supposed to be using. I'm just gonna go. And that's really it, guys. That's it for that. Now I just got to uh, reassemble everything back together. And this is all the lint that I pulled out from the back of the dryer. I'm just making sure my belt is still straight. Because I did try to loosen that up. But yeah, so now I got to remember what goes first. Uh, I think it's this. I just cleaned this whole laundry room too. It's the crazy part. But yeah, let me get this all back together and I'll be back with y'all shortly, guys. All right, guys, I got everything back together besides the top. I'm gonna plug it back in real quick. See if it get hot real quick. I think I should put the cover on. At least to get the dust.
right, we're gonna leave it like that. Temporary, see if it's getting hot. Yeah, it still ain't getting hot. It's not good. Come back in like five, 10 minutes, we'll see. Hopefully. If not, I don't know, I want to switch something up. Another we usually put on quick dry, right? Alright guys, moment of truth to see if the dryer is working. It smell like something burning, so it should be working. Yes, it's finally working. Thank you. Jesus. So now I just gotta um assemble everything back. Um uh, I'm gonna have extra boats. I promise you when this crap is over with. But let me assemble everything back together. It's working, officially working. Thank you, Jesus. I didn't have to buy a new washing machine because I really thought I did. Um, yeah, it's hot. It feels good. Um, yeah, let's put everything back. So this one came with a yellow and then a black. I don't know, they, they both the same freaking shot. I don't know which one's supposed to go in the front, which one's on the back. I put yellow on the front. I don't know why. It just seems practical. So yellow's gonna be on the front. I don't know. I don't read direction, so I don't know. All right, guys. So. I wonder, can I get this up here myself? So I have to put the spring. Hold on, what is this though? Oh no, oh no. Like this, but bigger. 
underneath here. I'm gonna lift it up. Well, you know what? Yeah, I need it now. Put this thing heavy, girl. What do I need? This white thing like this. Look. Hold on, let me put it down. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so what I have to do, I have to put this in here, I have to lift up and put it. That wasn't bad. So now I just gotta put the shocks on the bottom. And we'd be good to go. Just gotta keep assembling everything. So I'm just gonna take my time, guys. Um, Cause I ain't trying to mess nothing up. And I, my goal is not to have any extra screws left. That's the goal, guys, okay? I don't know where Now, I might be in trouble because I don't know what screws go to the shops. Either one or these might be it right here. Nope, can't be because there's only two of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, oh no, I have two of these in the back, so it's these. Yeah, it's these. All right, guys. I will be back. All right, guys, officially done. Um, I'm not wiping it down today. I was going to clean it, but honestly, I don't feel like it. I got to y'all, man. I am freaking extremely, extremely tired. So what I'm about to do, I'm about to go putting the door back on. Hopefully it's not shut. It does. Um, I'm gonna go slide this mug right back in there, hook it back up and run it, and hopefully everything freaking works, man. I cross our fingers. But that mug's spinning good. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Right. Then this shit making me freaking have anxiety a little bit. Is it gonna work? Okay, a lot. Is the water on? Why the water ain't coming in? I don't see no water.
I should not fill you again. Uh-oh. Sorry guys, I don't know. Oh, it's spinning. Yes, sir. In my own lane, doing my own thing. That's all, folks.